By the way, we're in the Oval Office. This is the Oval Office. It's a great statue of uh, That's Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Oh, wait, that By the way, the look, there's the bust. The bust. <laughs> bust. The bust of Martin Luther King, which was falsely reported, falsely reported, that it was taken out of the office. When I arrived, it was immediately taken out. <gasps> These are lying people. These are bad people. And uh, Martin Luther King is here, always be here. Uh, and the apology was this. Yeah. Did, did you pick and look who's above? Look, Alexander, Alexander Hamilton, Hamilton, Thomas Jefferson. Will you get a shot of these? I did. No, you picked every I moved, painting. I moved. Uh, I moved paintings around the White House. I just thought it would be great. So we have George Washington, yeah. Honest Stay Lincoln. Lincoln. Mm -hmm. We have Andrew Jackson, who they say was the most like my campaign because his was a vicious campaign. It was a pretty rough campaign. We have a book on Adams and Jefferson that was the most vicious campaign in the history of our country until this campaign. When you, when you first walk in this office every day and you think of it. It's great. Just take a look and look at my desk. Papers. You don't see presidents with papers. I got one question about the desk. Cause, and you have Ivanka and Jared have young kids. Are we going to see one of the young kids maybe crawling through the, there? Like John F. Kennedy idea, Jr. I get too old. <laughs> That's a secret door. Yeah. In that desk, and that was a famous picture. Why did you pick that desk? Well, it was Ronald Reagan. It was uh, a lot of great presidents, actually. Uh, FDR, mm. uh, Roosevelt. It was, it was, uh, mm. we've had a lot of great presidents using this desk. And I thought that would be the appropriate desk. You know, when I came here, you have a right to use your desk and this, and you can pick. They have like seven desks. You were very impressed with your phones, too. Well, I have great phones. I have, I have phones that, let me tell you, the technology that we have in this country is incredible. <laughs> Unfortunately, perhaps we don't use it, but <laughs> well, we need to. It is great. And the experts that do this work, we have really brilliant people doing it. Uh, I assume you're going to be putting, uh, there's a picture of your picture father? Picture of my father. That wasn't there yesterday. No, it wasn't. I just added that. That's good. You know that, huh? I did well, you picked that. that up fast. And I really, why did you choose the rug of rage? You could have also designed your yeah, own. and others. But I thought that, it, first of all, I liked it. I like the look, I like the likeness. And I like having it be Reagan. I like Reagan. I disagreed with him on some things. Primarily trade. trade yeah. He was not as strong on trade as I, as I felt he should have been, but that's okay. But he represented us very well. In your lifetime, who was the president that maybe you admired the most? Well, I liked Reagan. I didn't like him on trade, but other than trade, I liked him very much. And he was okay on trade. Mm-hmm. But not great. I was surprised. My last question for you. I was surprised last night. I was watching an interview. You were holding up the letter to yeah. Barack Obama that uh, had left you. Right, so right. like a lengthy, lengthy it letter. It was. And yeah. you seem to have a personal rapport with him. You were right. This was a really, really incredibly huh, vicious yeah. campaign. What amazed me is that uh, I was vicious to him in statements. He was vicious to me in statements. And here we are getting along, riding up Pennsylvania Avenue, talking. We don't even mention it. I guess that's the role of politics. But I was tough on him. He was tough on me. And I like him. He likes me. I think he likes me. You're gonna have to ask him, but I think he likes he me. He doesn't talk to me. Not too much. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I talk can't to figure me. out why. <laughs> yeah. But um, look, um, he wrote me a very nice letter. Beautiful letter. Yeah. Helpful to you? Uh, it's something to think about. Yeah. I agree with what it, the letter and he wrote. My very, I mean, very last question. Yes. Has this whole experience changed you in ways, in any way you can think of? I don't think I've had the time to be changed because I'm cutting the prices of airplanes. I'm cutting the prices of army tanks. You're working. I'm cutting the prices of submarines. You know, we're lacking submarines. We're going to build some new submarines, but the price is too high. So I'm cutting the prices way down. Um, doing a lot of work. In addition to getting Ford and General Motors and some others to get start building cars here, right? Mr. President, good to see you. Thank you for Thank your time. You. I'm very generous. Thank you, Sean.